hey what's going on everyone welcome welcome again to another tutorial here on our channel on this video we are going to be showing you how you can get windows display within virtual reality and why is that important you might ask well if you're one of those uh streamers that likes to do or that are thinking to do uh live streams in virtual reality but at the same time being able to at least get access from a visibility point of view to the chats to interact with your community uh, you know that this is one of the toughest things you can get done and sometimes it's just not even worth it because of all the complications that goes with it nowadays is not that anymore we have an application here which is going to let you basically import any windows from your desktop into virtual reality they can it can be the obs chat the uh, uh stream lab obs chat or it can be just the url of the chat from youtube or maybe twitch so i'm going to show you how that's done and if you're wondering what the application is that's going to let you do this it's nothing more than open knee board completely free you don't have to pay anything everything that i'm going to show you here again is going to be basically free here so first thing that you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to to this URL right here, which is openneebor.com. That's going to get you to this website that I'm on, and you're gonna want to just read over the getting started here. Just keep in mind that OpenNebor works with SteamVR OpenXR runtime as well as just virtual desktop OpenXR runtime so the way that this application is going to work is going to be leveraging the openxr api to be able to inject these windows from your desktop into your virtual reality image pretty much right so go here download the latest um revision of open neighbor by just clicking here on the msi this is going to download the installer as you can see from here so once you have the installer download it into your computer you're going to want to execute this to install the application so if you're on windows which i believe you will be on windows most likely if you're watching this tutorial here uh, you may see some of these messages this is just windows being windows just click where it says no more info and then run anyway and then just follow the instructions here to install this application uh, in my case, I already have it installed. If you notice, I have OpenNeighbor right here already uh, pinned to my taskbar and installed. So let's just go to the beginning where you need you're going to be landing when you uh, when you get to this uh, to this application. So let me go back. OK, so I'm using Restream.io chat application for Windows. But the only thing that I need from here is just the URL for the chat, which can be just the URL from YouTube when you pop up the chat where it can be another URL from OBS with the chat doesn't matter. Only thing that I need from here is just the chat URL. Right here, I will see multiple stuff. I want the embedded chat pretty much. This is what I want. So I'm going to copy this URL. I'm going to close this. That's all I needed pretty much. So now I will go to the settings in open eboard i'm gonna go to tabs and then i'm gonna do add tab here you're gonna have multiple uh types of stuff that you can import you can import a file directly like a png image or a folder with a bunch of images if you want to import like a bunch of a bunch of uh, documentation stuff that you want to read in vr uh you can import a whole window like a whole window uh windows window um, or you can import a URL dashboard. And this is exactly how you import those SIM hub dashboards as well. On SIM hub, you go get the URL of a given dashboard, and then you go here, and then you click on this thing, and then you paste the URL right here. In this case, we are importing a chat overlay. So that's all I gotta do. I'm gonna paste the stream IL. This can be basically your YouTube chat. Um, overlay in YouTube when you're doing live stream you are able to pop up the chat on a separate window and then that window is going to have a URL you can copy that and put it here the reason I don't do it that way though is because uh, that URL changes every single time that you do a live stream on YouTube here 
it doesn't change it always going to be in a case of restream io is always going to be the same url so it doesn't matter how many times i do live streaming this url will remain the same so i highly recommend you to give restream io a try however if you have uh if you are signed up with uh, uh streamlab obs there in streamlab obs you have an option to also import chats uh, all right so i'm gonna add this here and as you know now they just popped up and it automatically was given a name because it recognizes what it is that you are importing in this case is restream chat if i click on here so it is right here right of course if you want to delete something you just click on delete right here so if we go back to the main screen right here you will see now that i have this new um app that just popped up here if i click on it there you go that's my chat so now I'm going to hop in virtual reality and I'm going to leave um, open neighbor open, of course, because you got to keep it open if you want to see stuff in virtual reality. So I'm going to hop in virtual reality and you will see I'm going to do it with the uh, uh, Quest 3. That way I can record within the Quest 3 and show you the chat overlay. So I want to launch Team VR. Just want to keep things simple here. I don't have to jump into a game. Uh, just jumping in Steam VR will give you the idea. So take a look at this. Take a look at this. I don't know if, if you are able to see this stuff here, uh, but see here. Here we have my um, overlay for the viewer account, which is another URL that I've, I've, I have imported. And I'm going to show you how you can get multiple uh, tabs to be visible within virtual reality. Uh, but this is the one right here, the main one. This is the one that we just imported right now. As you can see, this is my chat overlay. You can position this stuff whatever you want so it doesn't get in the way of what you're doing in virtual reality. Usually, I have it right there because I am usually driving, um, like say, like doing sim racing. And all I got to do is just look down and I will be able to see my chat interact my, with my viewers. And also here, I am able to see how many people I have uh, watching on Twitch and also how many people I have watching on YouTube. That if I go to settings um, and then you go to, I believe it's under uh, virtual reality. Here you have multiple tabs. You see, you got multiple tabs. Each of these tabs, you can keep adding more and more. What that means is that, is that you can have multiple overlays within virtual reality. The first knee board um, is the one that you see right here with the chat. And you can see that the default tab that I have for this knee board, number one, is actually their restream chat. If I want to change this to Sim Hub, you will see that now it's switched over to my Sim Hub dashboard or whatever it is that you're trying to import doesn't matter so i'm gonna get it back to the chat right here because that's what i want now if you notice on the second kneeboard right here um that's where i have the viewer count widget tab which is this one right here that you can see right here so i selected that one here i can actually just go and put another chat if i want and you will see that i'm gonna have two chats now, if you notice, they are of different size. I'm going to show you how you can change the size and everything and also change the position as well. So let me just take this back to viewer count because I want to see my viewer pretty much. So if you notice, let's go back here to neighbor number one, the one that's got the uh, the restream chat right here. Uh, if you keep scrolling down, you will see stuff about the size uh, of the neighbor. Now, one thing I highly recommend you to do because usually, if you notice, these are actually URLs that you're importing. Sometimes they may have like a uh, like a header on top that's visible and makes it look like a square. I want it to be as transparent as possible on the edges. So there is an option here for you to disable the headers. Uh, let's see if I can uh, get it. You see here, in-game UI, header, footer, bookmarks, yada, yada, yada. If I select this, you will see that on the chat, I'm going to have these headers right here. You see the header on top and then the footer at the bottom. Maybe it's good for you to keep track of time because I like that this footer has like the time of your desktop pretty much. But I don't, I don't, I technically or usually don't have this enabled. So I'm just going to disable this so it is transparent on the edges. So I am sitting on my chair, my office chair right now. But anyway, I'm going to just click here where it says recenter. And this is why it is important for you to go to the settings 
go to the keybinds or the inputs and map a button from like a fly stick from like a, a wheel or from your vr controller to recenter your view uh right now i'm just gonna do it right here because all of my peripherals are turned off right now like for sim racing so i'm gonna click here on recenter now all right so everything has been recentered so if you can see everything here now has been enabled for you to play with so vertical distance from the eye level in meters so this is basically the distance this window is going to be from your eyes if you will so if i keep if i put this or lower this value you will see that it's going to move it pretty much on a vertical axis so right there so you can put this whatever you want so it doesn't get in the way so i'm gonna keep it right here for now so the pitch look how this changes you see you can change the position pretty much uh to whatever you like now uh, i'm not sure if i got anything else that i want to share with you i guess on the inputs here again find your peripheral uh that you are currently using to recenter the vr view um, i recommend you to have the same button on the same peripheral that you commonly use to reset your view that way when you reset the view of the game image in vr you are also resetting the view of the open neighbor at the same time that's what i do pretty much so this is where you do it and you're gonna have all of your active peripherals uh, for example, this is the uh, like the Bravo Third Quadrant. If I wanted to just bind the recenter there, I could just do it here. I bind and then click a, click a button on the Bravo Third Quadrant. And there's some other stuff that you can bind uh, bind to uh, to buttons, which you can see right here. So I'm not sure if there's anything else uh, relevant that I want to share with you. I think we covered the most important thing. This is how simple it is for you to actually import overlays again. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button if this video was of any help. A lot of people don't even hit the like. They get some value from a video. They don't hit the like uh, to show appreciation. And again, I mean, if you like the content that I show that I have on this uh, channel, just consider subscribing to the channel as well. Let's just help the community grow. I don't get paid for any of the stuff that I'm doing, but it can, it's kind of satisfying to see the channel grow from time to time uh, based on the content that I upload. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.